So there are thousands of ways to making a thousand dollars a day out there that you can go and apply right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about what I am most qualified for and how I've personally learned how to get to pass a thousand dollars a day and also how I've helped well over 50 people get to pass a thousand dollars a day themselves. And so inside of this video, I'm going to break down what are the methods that I've learned and then what is it that I see as common traits for the people that do get to success versus the people that I guess just fuck off and don't get to anything. And inside of here, I'm just going to help you guys maybe leave with a few things that you know going in uh, as to exactly how you're, you're, you yourself are going to get to $1,000 a day. And this is in spirit of, I talked to one of my, I guess a student who would call him today. And, you know, he's been doing this for, I don't know, he's been working with me for a little bit under a year now, and he just hit $15,000 this month. And so you had a couple of, uh, of days where he made over $1,000 a day. And so um, in spirit of that, I'm going to break down kind of since I've added him to the collection of the amount of people that I've got helped get to that point, I figured I would make a little video breaking it down for you guys because there's a bunch of, I don't know, there's a bunch of stuff out there. I'll just tell you my way, I, whatever with other people. <laughs> we'll just get straight to the point. And so for me personally, I've been making over $1,000 a day since I would say like four years now, almost five years, almost five years ago. That's crazy to say that I've been making over a thousand dollars a day. So it's been a little bit. I've been doing this for some time now, and I've kind of really figured out what gets you to that point of to where you can generate that much, and what are the common traits, and what is it that you need to have in order to get here as fast as possible. Real quick to mention, we are also doing three thousand dollar course giveaways in all the videos. So make sure to subscribe and to comment on the videos and like because we're doing a giveaway on a bunch of the videos that we're doing right now and i'd love for you to be a part of that i'd love for you to win a bunch of goodies and enjoy the ride and the process of you know watching me build my personal brand here so make sure to subscribe and drop a comment so that way you guys can join the giveaway so the first thing is you need to take full ownership of your life and of your outcomes Immediately now these days, I can sniff it out really fast, like a like a hound dog, whether or not someone takes ownership of things or not. And the thing is, is like, it's, it's very easy to tell when people aren't taking ownership of things and when they are blaming external factors for the reason for their life. And you just need to cut that shit out. You need to stop blaming others for where you are right now with their life. And so some of the things that I've seen is just, you know, if especially people that are super heavily invested into politics and they blame politics for everything and who's president for why you live a certain life or maybe somebody, you know, ripped you off in the past or some sort of situation that's someone else's fault. As soon as you start thinking that someone else is you're in this position because of somebody else, maybe you had some sort of medical like accident or I don't know, some mental trauma. There's a bunch of weird stuff, stuff that I see sometimes, but if you were, as soon as you start blaming other things, other entities, other objects, things that are outside of yourself, you are giving them all of the power over your life. As soon as you say that your life is an outcome due to, because of some sort of circumstance or other person, you are saying that that person, that circumstance has full control of your life and that you have no control of your life. And now here's the thing is I understand that that's a very comfortable or a comforting way of interpreting things. As soon as you don't have to take ownership of stuff, the sooner that it's not your fault. But as soon as you start saying that things aren't your fault, and then the sooner that you're saying that you're not responsible for things, the soon, the longer, or if ever, you're ever going to be able to take control of your life. So the fastest thing to take control of your life is to start taking ownership of things. So, before you start blaming the neighbor or the loud noise or the dog or whatever, as soon as you start to recognize those, pa those patterns, you need to stop them in the tracks and no notice, hey, I'm doing it again. Because you guys are probably doing it time and time and time again. And this is something that it took me myself the longest time to finally like really kind of come to terms to. But as soon as I finally took full ownership of everything that's in my life and why I get treated the way I get treated or why I, you know, get said outcome or my living situation or the car that I drive or the people that I'm friends with or the girls that I date or any of those things all stem from what I realized was myself and the things that are internalized, that I have internalized and created for myself and the, the, the person that I identify as and the, 
everything I realized is within my control. And as soon as I started realizing that everything is within my control, now I had an actual plan, or at least I had, I realized that like the inputs that I create will dictate the outputs. And as soon as I realized I had control over the system, then that is where it unlocked that I could really be able to go out and have some crazy success. So the first thing that you need to do to get to your first thousand dollars a day, we'll bring it back full circle here. Um, the first thing you need to do is when you're on this journey to getting to a thousand dollars a day is ask yourself, are you blaming other people for your circumstances? If you're making three grand a month and you're like, oh yeah, cause I, you know, I used to be this, blah, blah, blah. You're living in the past or whatever the hell broke people stuff that you're doing. As, like if, if you're making $3,000 a month and you want to get to a thousand dollars a month, first of all, notice the things and the thoughts that you have and where you are blaming where you are blaming your outcome. If you're saying you're making three grand a month because of somebody else, no, dumbass, it's you. I love you. But you're the reason why you're in the situation. So the second thing I would say is making constant daily progress towards said goal. And this applies to anything with success, but we're going to tie it to $1,000 a day because you guys all want to get rich as fuck. And so, or at least start getting rich and then you guys can possibly get rich as fuck like me down the road. But anyways, when we're getting to $1,000 a day, what we need to do is we need to make constant daily progress towards said goal. $1,000 a day is $30,000 a month. And, you know, $1,000 a day is, let's say, with uh, the way that I did it was with YouTube. And $1,000 a day on YouTube is usually about, what would that be? Like 250,000 views a day with a $4 RPM. So like most niches, you can get 250,000 views a day sometimes less, sometimes maybe a little bit more, and you can be at $1,000 a day. And so as soon as you get to that point where you're hitting those types of numbers, the sooner that you're able to, uh, th th as soon as you hit those, then that's where you're able to get the result. So if we're doing it in the terms of, let's say, getting views on YouTube, which I have gotten to that point many times over, and I hit that every single day without me having to necessarily upload videos myself. But in order to hit that, you need to ask yourself, okay, what do I need to do to do that? First of all, you need videos out that are public on YouTube. So very straightforward. Okay, in order to make $1,000 a day, I need to get YouTube videos up. Common sense. Yeah, that anybody could have, Einstein could have came up with that equation. So the thing is, is now what you have to ask yourself is, okay, how many videos do I need to get out? And of what type of result do I need to create something that is able to get to this point? Now, what I see most people doing when they're trying to, you know, get some results with, let's say YouTube, because that is my domain. It doesn't really matter what the fuck you do. You just need to do something. But if it is YouTube, if that is what you're trying to achieve it with, then what you need to do is you need to go find people that are getting a quarter of a million or more views a day and study those people. Don't study the broke people. For some reason, broke people study broke people. And then you stay broke common sense right so instead instead of being like all the other broke people studying broke people and you know just oh i don't want to do this for money i just want to uh i do this because it makes me feel good and stuff like that and then they work a job that they hate and they wonder why they're why they have all these problems that they have in their life instead of being those people instead what you need to do is you need to look at people that are successful and are having success and emulate them and study them and really try to understand the way that they think, the way that they do things, the ways they that may make uh, that they make decisions, their frequency, how fast they move, how you know what do they do, what do they not do, and when you study that, then now that starts to set a baseline as to what you're doing. So if you're trying to get you know to a thousand dollars a day, you need to find channels that are doing a quarter million views uh, a day, which is about if I were to do the math real quick. That'll be 2.5. So about like 7 million views a month. You want to find people getting like 7, 8 million views a month. And if you can find those people, then you, and you get to us and you model them, you'll probably get to a pretty similar result that they got to. And so now that you can kind of set the baseline, now that you set the baseline of what it takes to get to $1,000 a day, now you need to make constant daily action to becoming more and more every single day like those people and less like the broke person that you are now today. And the sooner that you can make this transition, the sooner that you'll be making $1,000 a day. The reason why you're not at that point is just because you are not a worthy enough person of being at that caliber. The reason I'm not making a million dollars a month yet 
is because I'm not a million dollar a month person. And that is what I'm working towards. So every single day, I'm asking myself, what are the things that I'm doing that other people that are getting a million dollars a month are doing? And then what are things that I'm doing that they're not doing? And constantly making daily progress. And it's not one of those things that you just write down on a journaling session and then you never look at it freaking again. For me, I have a whiteboard right over here that I look at while I'm working every single day and I track and measure onto it what progress I need to make. And then what I also do is I break it down mathematically what I need to do to be able to get to a million dollars a month. And from there, now that I have kind of like this little breakdown of everything, now that now I have something to work towards every single day and I can t make constant daily action. For me, this is all I do all day is I sit right here, not this setup here that I have, and I work or, you know, I'll work on my laptop in my backyard as well next to the pool and the waterfall and shit. So for me, I'm making constant daily progress towards getting to a million dollars a month. So for you, if you're trying to get to $30,000 a day, you need to track what is it that exactly you need to do to be able to get to that point. And then you also need to track every single day. Are you doing the things that are getting progress towards that? And so if you're trying to get to, let's say, uh, seven or eight million views a month, then what you need to do is you need to write down how many views a month are you hitting right now and constantly tracking it up until you're at that point of hitting seven or eight million views a month. And the thing is, is the things that you put your attention on are the things that grow. So you need to pay attention on the metrics of the things that are responsible for your growth. So for me and my businesses, I'm looking at views when it comes to my YouTube channels, when it comes to my, my coaching businesses and my info products, I am constantly looking at how many leads are coming in. What's the cost for leads? You know, what is the, what is a customer worth to me? And then also how much does it cost for me to get a customer? So that way I can make constant daily progress every single day and I know how far away I am from the goal and I know where I need to be at. And so here's the thing is when you're pushing yourself to some new goals, so especially if you haven't made money online and you're a complete beginner watching this video, then what you need to realize is that if you feel comfortable doing what you're doing every single day, then you're doing it wrong. If you feel comfortable, then that means you're probably not making any sort of progress whatsoever. Discomfort is where the progress is made. For me, it's not comfortable at all doing the things that I'm doing on a very regular basis. I'm betting sometimes, you know, thousands of dollars, sometimes a day and on these decisions or into the direction of my business. You know, when it comes to one of my YouTube channels, I we spend over $700 a video and we put out, I don't know, like. 12 videos a month, 15 videos a month sometimes. And it doesn't feel good putting out that much that much money into a video. There's a lot of shit that I could buy for that money. But instead, what I'm doing is, is I'm making a bet and I am making a calculated bet on something that is going to be an investment that is going to grow the, the, the said channel. Um, and it is going to help me get closer and closer to the goals that I'm trying to get. Or with my coaching business, you know, we spend a good amount of money on ads. It does not feel good spending the amount of money on, that we do on ads. I could go buy a, like, go, yeah, buy a really nice house, a mansion in a beautiful city, and I can go live just fine. But instead, what I'm doing is I am setting myself up for being able to hit these larger targets and these larger goals. And it's not comfortable whatsoever. And the reason why I feel okay doing that is because I've seen very provenly this is the this is the the way that other people that are getting to where I'm trying to get to are doing. And I know that it is the right direction and the right path that's in front of me. And so I know that it is an okay calculated bet. But you need to, like if as soon as you start feeling comfortable, as soon as I start feeling comfortable, I know I'm making the wrong decision. I'm going the wrong direction. Instead, discomfort is where the growth is at discomfort is where you're going to be able to see these outsized returns and be able to become this person that's be, be able to hit larger and larger targets and so to wrap this all up with my last point here or to clean it up or to to really kind of drive this home here inside of this video on how to make a thousand dollars a day as a complete loser is you need to completely kind of reset your brain and recalibrate the way that you view the world and so as of right now, let's say that you're watching this video and you're making, let's say $6,000 a month and you got a pretty decent paying job and then the government takes a ton of money in, out in taxes and you're left with, let's say four grand and all these bills, blah, blah, blah. And you're left with nothing at the end of the day. So what you're at right now is this income level, at least at $6,000 a month <clears throat> is essentially your barometer. 
Right now, you have a $6,000 a month barometer. And so what is going on is you're comfortable making that price point. If you lost your job, you're pretty used to making $6,000 a month. So it's pretty easy for you to go find another $6,000 a month job because you're already kind of used to making income at that job. Or if you were to quit there and you were to go work somebody somewhere else, you could get right around that range plus or minus probably 20%. And so the same exact thing is with any income level. And so as soon as you have a $300,000 $300, a month, let's say stress tolerance and income level, uh, barometer, and that is what you're comfortable with and what you're used to, you could lose everything and you can get to $300,000 a month pretty quickly. For me, I have started up many businesses when I got to, let's say when I first got to my first $1,000 a day, I got to that point many, many times. I lost everything many times and I got straight back to $30,000 a month very quickly. And I started businesses that get to that point pretty quickly now at this point as well. Now I'm trying to figure out how do I reach these higher, the, these larger heights. It's just I am not at that barometer yet, or I'm working towards becoming at that barometer. So that way I can make more and more money. And it really boils down to, if you want to make a thousand dollars a day, if you want to make 30 grand a month, you need to be the person that is worthy and capable not to be on some like little woo woo train over here with like mystical beings and stuff like that. Um, or, <laughs> you know, like the manifestation route and stuff and get all Eckhart Tolle on you guys here. But what I will say is in order for you to get to where you're making $30,000 a month is you need to be someone that is worthy of making $30,000 a month. And as soon as you kind of become that person that is worthy, then you are somebody that is, then you will start getting paid that amount of money. Now you're asking me, Devin, how do you make $30,000 a month? What you got to do is you have to make $30,000 a month and then that can be your barometer. And if that's not you, you need to study consistently people that are at that level that are making $1,000 a day and try to be a little bit more like them every single day. So for me, what I'm always trying to do is I'm trying to find people that are at the level that I am trying to get to. And as soon as I find people that are at that level that I'm trying to get to, then I try to study their habits. I try to study their mindset. I listen to how they talk. I watch their mannerisms. I see how they act. And day by day, I try to act more like them every single day. Because a lot of times it's not just their words, but it's also their actions. It's how they go about doing things. It's, go, it's how they go about their processes and their systems and the way of viewing the world. For me, now I've gone out to dinner with multiple different people that have reached, you know, half a million dollars a month, million dollars a month and studied them and seeing, you know, kind of asking them questions and seeing how they go about making some of the decisions and making some decisions with them. And seeing what their process is with these different, with, with them being in the place that they're in right now, I study their decisions and why, or the way they go about doing things. And that brings me up to a barometer of them where I can be at a similar level and seeing, you know, what is something that is scalable to that level? Because, you know, making, let's say uh, $300,000 a month is completely different than doing $30,000 a month. There's different complexities at scale. And realizing the decision making that is necessary to be at that level is completely different than being at, let's say, you know, $50,000 a month or whatever. And so the same thing for you, if you want to be at $30,000 a month, you only have 24 hours in the day. There's only so much time in the day that you can possibly have. We all have the same amount of time. And so what is it that's different about people that have substantially more income than you are or than what you have? even though they have the same amount of time. And that is the question for you guys. So study success, go find people that are very regularly hitting to those numbers. And for me, you know, like the way I see it too, is just the people that are at those levels and that are able to hit that level consistently, they are resourceful. They're good at studying the game. They're good at shutting up and listening to the right people and also turning off their brains and not listening to the wrong people. Hence, and they are able to be on this ruthless pursuit of doing whatever it takes to getting to where they want to be. So if you are a complete beginner and you want to get to a thousand dollars a day, here are some, those are the, the lessons of the journey. Make sure to subscribe for more and I'll give you some actual tactics in some of these other videos. I feel like you guys were worthy of it today because we talked about the mastery and the mindset and stuff like that. So inside of this video, we got a little bit more juicy for you guys, a little bit more how to make that money. So. I'll see you guys all in the next one.